This week on the Street of Dreams looked like a repeat of the last week of April as markets were selling off until Friday produced a Dow Wow, with the Dow rising more than 570 points higher to post the best day so far in 2024. The rally came in response to the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation measure as the PCE came in largely around expectations. The core personal consumption expenditures price index increased two-tenths of a percent in April in line with forecasts. Despite the tough week, it was a winning May, with each of the major benchmarks registering a six positive month in seven. The Dow added 2.3% this month, while the S&P 500 rose 4.8%, and the Nasdaq gained 6.88%, notching its best month going back to November. Even better news, the first 100 trading days of the year have been strong, and a strong first 100 days suggests a strong rest of the year. Success breeds success. The S&P 500 has rallied over 10% year-to-date. When the S&P is up 10% or more over the first 100 days of the year, the rest of the year is up 76% of the time on average. Not that I need to remind anybody, but this is an election year. And election years tend to be bullish for the markets. The 10% year-to-date return for 2024 is the second best 100-day start of a presidential election year since 1928. When the S&P trades higher over the first 100 days of a presidential election year, the rest of the year tends to be strong with the index up 93% of the time on average. So we had a good month. So far, a good year and positive outlook to the 100-day trading rule. Everybody happy? Surprisingly not. According to a recent poll, one in two Americans think stocks are down this year. Nearly three in five believe the U.S. economy is presently in recession. Notably, 55% think the economy is contracting, even though the U.S. GDP has grown on an annualized basis the seven past quarters. Moreover, 49% say the S&P 500 is down year to date. It's up double digits. While nearly half of those polled reckon the unemployment rate is at a 50-year high, it's actually at a 50-year low. One expert coined a new term for this obvious disconnect, calling it a vibe session where the data says the economy is doing fine, but people still feel it is doing badly. This level of skepticism is, of course, very bullish, at least according to Sir John Templeton, who said, bull markets are born on pessimism, grow on skepticism, mature on optimism, and die on euphoria. With this level of skepticism, I have to believe this bull market has plenty of room to run.